All right, lads, and welcome back to another Stoji Lads Cuban Cigar Review. Uh, I'm reviewing on this channel for the first time, not the first time for me to smoke this cigar though, one of my absolute favorite Cuban Petit Coronas, the Trinidad Reyes. Um, this 4x40, uh, 4 inch, 111 millimeter by 40 ring gauge uh, Petit uh, Corona is a spectacular cigar. I often talk about Trinidad being sort of Cohiba's little brother. Uh, and I think that's kind of the case in this. I mean, it's just incredible, incredible quality for what you get. Uh, this one's pretty affordable. It's about 10 US dollars here in Sweden, which is pretty good for a Cuban cigar. Uh, it's just such high quality oftentimes with Trinidad that you're paying a little bit more than some other brands in the same uh, size category. Uh, but you oftentimes sort of do get the quality that you're paying for. Uh, in these Trinidad so yeah it's it's a it's a good cigar I I bought a box of these like several years ago I smoked the whole box one w winter um, and yeah spectacular flavor I remember a lot of like salted caramel it's got huge salty Cuban twang but it had like a deeper caramel sweetness that really was a beautiful mix uh, of flavors we'll see how this one is uh, it's been quite a while since I had one probably last winter uh, stocked up on a few again for the winter and it's a beautiful day here perfect for a sort of 45 minute smoke uh, hopefully a nice light it's got a beautiful dark brown sort of brownish cuban cigar wrapper nice and oily looks looks to be a spectacular spectacular uh roll this one just looks really good quality mm. immediate blast of salty Cuban twang a bit of nuttiness a little bit of sweetness mm, it's been a while I've, I haven't had a cigar in like two weeks just life and the weather's gotten in the way it's been a long time probably my longest break this year from cigars it's good to be back with this one I'll get back to you guys in uh, in a little bit give my uh, first thoughts on this cigar and um, catch you then all right so I'm well over 20 minutes in uh, approaching sort of 25 minutes it's burning marvelously beautiful ash slow burn as well i mean i might get even an hour out of this which is kind of crazy for the size uh, but it is a perfect day there's no wind or anything that certainly helps um this might even be the best trinidad rays i've had uh, at least this first sort of third to a half is showing that way uh apart from the fantastic construction on this uh individual example the flavors are spectacular the base is that heavy cuban twang that salty twang which is just marvelous uh, then there's like the caramel note uh, that I'm so used to with these. That kind of creates the illusion or <laughs> at least the perception that it's a sort of salted caramel, which is really nice. Um, and that together is already a nice, really super nice, uh, dark, uh, sweet, salted caramel style note, which is already fantastic. But apart from that, uh, there's a vanilla, especially pronounced in the first third sort of starting to fade, but there was a heavy vanilla note, which was super nice. Um, and a sort of a roasted nut note, which was also really nice, uh, like heavily roasted nuts. It was really, really nice. I mean, a lot of flavor notes, some shifts as well, which is spectacular. Mm, that salted caramel, it's, it's very unique for this Trinidad Reyes. I've never had that specific flavor profile in any other cigar, and it seems to be consistent. I mean, this is a completely different box than the one I, like I smoked a couple of years ago. It's the same sort of profile. These are, I mean, these just are seemingly sp spectacularly consistent, which is another bonus point, um, but I'm loving the flavor profile. I think I'll do two updates since this is a sort of shorter cigar. I'll get back towards the end and give my final thoughts, but so far, very, very good. Meets all my expectations and just a little bit more than that even. So I'll catch you guys in the end. All right, lads, exactly 50 minutes in, approaching the end of this one. Uh, this is just one of those pretty rare occasions where the Cuban cigar is flawlessly rolled, all around, no touch-ups needed. Uh, I'm not even smoking this one slowly. I can't believe I'm going to get about an hour out of this, you know, 4 by 40 cigar. It's kind of crazy, um, but it's spectacular when they're this well-rolled. As for flavor profile, um, the vanilla kind of came back in the last third, but very late on the finish. 
I'd say the roasted nuts are completely gone. Instead, an earth entered in, kind of a light earth, not, not anything heavy. This cigar has sat at solidly medium bodied from start to finish all the way through, uh, very medium, which is good for a middle of the day cigar, decent for, you know, afternoon. This isn't a morning cigar. I mean, it's, it's short and I'm sure some like veterans might smoke this in the morning, but I, I wouldn't say this is like a morning cigar. Uh, not that I smoke many morning cigars anyway. Um, but the flavor profile was super nice. This is pretty young. Uh, it doesn't have more than like a year, maybe a year and a half on it or something like that. So it's smoking spectacularly for that age. Good transitioning, uh, some shifts, not overly complex, but for a small cigar like this, I'd say decently high complexity. And like I said, a lot of nice flavors. They were pretty pronounced and very good. So to give this a score then, 92 is where I'd settle at. It's, it's very good. It is certainly excellent and takes that a bit further. Uh, I'd say a solid 92 on this one. Uh, the rest that I have, I'll age more because I think, wow, even with like two or three more years on these, these will, you know, be almost perfection. You know, I'm, I, I can see these becoming a lot better. Obviously aging is no science, so maybe, maybe won't happen, but these seem to have very good potential because it's smoking so well already. Uh, so a spectacular Trinidad Reyes, please try and get one of these if you like Cuban Petite Coronas. For me, this is one of the absolute best, if not the best, probably my favorite Petite Corona. Uh, so I can highly recommend these. Uh, thank you guys so much, as always, for watching these reviews, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.